What's up Maniacs, my name is Mex, I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac if you will. And today we are going to discuss, is Drew McIntyre over pushed? Last night on Raw, Drew McIntyre found himself in a last chance qualifying match for the Money in the Bank ladder match at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And Drew McIntyre overcame AJ Styles and Riddle, who was standing in for Randy Orton, in this match to go and take a place in the ladder match in three weeks time now we had the little consistent story throughout the night where randy orton never showed up to raw riddle stood in for randy orton firstly in a battle royal to see who would get that place in the last chance qualifying match riddle went into the battle royal and won the battle royal and then faced mcintyre and aj styles in the main event on the night and riddle also faced controversy in the match when he kicked some steel stairs got taken to the back he did come back out but drew mcintyre still claymored him and got the win. Drew McIntyre now finds himself in a ladder match where if he wins he cannot cash in on a champion Bobby Lashley anyway as per their last match's stipulation. So why is Drew McIntyre kind of thrusted into this position? A lot of us think that he should be going on another storyline facing other competitors but we're going to talk about it in just a second so stay tuned. Right here at WrestleManiac UK, I discuss everything that's WWE and AEW, so if this sounds like the place for you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into it. Is Drew McIntyre over pushed? So I think the first question to really address before we get into all of this is, was this the original plan? Obviously, Randy Orton didn't make Raw for whatever reason. We don't know if it's injury or something else as to why he wasn't on Raw this past week. But Randy Orton wasn't there. Was this the original plan for Drew McIntyre to always win? Because my thoughts was that Randy Orton should win this last chance match and then he should be in the Money in the Bank briefcase match with Riddle. And we can see that dynamic play off with both of them being on one team yet facing each other to get the briefcase. That's what I thought the original plan should have been. So I'm not sure if this is actually the original plan however this is where we are so let's talk about it on the night like i said earlier we had the through story of riddle going into the battle royal to get a chance in the last chance match against aj styles and drew mcintyre throughout the night he channeled his inner randy orton to get through the battle royal firstly and then progress into that last chance match and i felt at that point it would have been a feel good story for riddle to win randy orton's place in money in the bank after all he did kind of cost randy orton in his qualifying match last week and Riddle continues to try to pursue this friendship with Randy Orton. I thought that would have made sense. However, Drew McIntyre gets the win in the last chance match and Drew McIntyre is the one progressing to money in the bank. A match that Riddle is still going to be in. He didn't sacrifice his place or anything like that. He is still gonna be in it. But McIntyre is also qualified now. A lot of fans like myself feel that Drew McIntyre needs a break from the main event scene, particularly the WWE Championship scene. And going into this big, big match where, let's not lie, all of a sudden Drew McIntyre is the favourite to now win this match. Going into this match where if he wins, he can't even face Lashley as the champion. He's going to have to hold on to that briefcase until Lashley drops it, until he can actually cash in his briefcase if he is to win it. By them also making Drew overcome at this particular point, Riddle is now kind of being 50-50 booked. One minute he wins, one minute he loses. This particular match, he didn't need to take the pin. AJ Styles was there. AJ Styles could have taken the pin off the back of a Claymore, but they've put it on Riddle, someone that they've kind of been building up in recent times. So that doesn't really make sense. It's like they just don't want to let go of this Drew thing and keeping Drew at the top of the card and there's ways to keep him at the top of the card but I just don't think this consistent pushing him down our necks particularly in the direction of the WWE Championship is going to go down very well with fans. Fans are back in about two to three weeks. It's going to be absolutely telling if Drew McIntyre comes out and is booed. That is not what WWE expect. WWE need to read the room here because Drew McIntyre isn't as popular right now as he once was, as they think he is. This is going to be a very detrimental move 
if Drew McIntyre comes out and is booed by fans. Right now, a lot of us are all saying the same thing. Drew McIntyre should be going through a crisis of confidence, losing every match until the point where, you know, he turns a heel. And then if he's to win the WWE Championship as a heel, that is a whole different dimension which we haven't seen from Drew before. He's done the babyface thing. He's done the babyface thing at the hardest of times when there was no crowd and the rah-rah speeches and getting us all behind him at a dark time during the pandemic when a lot of people were turning to wrestling just as an out from their regular lives. Now he is still kind of doing that same thing one year on. It doesn't even make sense. After everything you went through, you wouldn't even be the same person. He needs to go to a dark, dark place to really find himself, to have some new dimension to capture the WWE Championship again. Drew McIntyre qualifying for this match should have never been the plan. Even Jinder Mahal, if you guys recall, Jinder Mahal made a threat last week that it would be a shame if someone didn't qualify or someone was to interfere with the qualifying matches. This could have been their out. Jinder Mahal could have caused some type of distraction to Drew McIntyre or pulled him out the ring, attacked Drew McIntyre and then Drew could have went off into a program with Jinder ahead of money in the bank. Drew McIntyre did not need to win this match at all but here we are Drew McIntyre now all of a sudden from not qualifying to qualifying through the last chance match to now being probably the favourite to win money in the bank. I can't lie this is beginning to smell of Roman Reigns 2015-2016 booking where everything was just Roman or bust, Roman or die. That is what it seems like they're doing with Drew McIntyre. We saw how that affected Roman Reigns and how it took them about five years to then get it right with Roman Reigns and we're reaping the rewards now. Let's not do this with Drew. Drew can go off and do other big main event things without the WWE Championship, at least in the near future. Separate him from the WWE Championship for now. Let him find himself before he goes back to that title. Otherwise, we are going to have a baby face getting booed every week. And like I said earlier, with crowds coming back, that is not what you want. So guys, that is what I've got for you today. I really do think Drew McIntyre at this point is being over pushed. And I'm a big Drew fan, don't get me wrong. I love everything that Drew McIntyre did last year. And a lot of people didn't even like that. I loved everything he done last year, but I do think it is time to move on from the place that we were last year because we we are still here we are still living 2020 drew in 2021 so i really do think we need to separate ourselves bring some new things to the table some new ideas to the table because right now wwe are failing drew mcintyre someone they built up so well at the back end of 2019 gave him an awesome 2020 despite the pandemic restrictions drew mcintyre is drowning right now and i hate to see the fans not be behind drew mcintyre Give this guy a crisis of confidence, make him do some dastardly things to recapture the WWE Championship. That is what we all want to see. And then that gives Drew McIntyre a new lease of life. But I'm done talking. I want to hear from you guys. Put down below in the comments your thoughts. Is Drew McIntyre over pushed? Should he be in the money in the bank match? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments if you enjoyed today's video please give me a big thumbs up on the video and if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time i drop a new video wrestlemaniac uk signing out and i'll see you soon